open to receive the feedback of the the people right from different point from mm. different levels mm. and this has influenced the power of egypt because it's within within as we said africans will resolve their own african problems egyptians have led egypt to be in this situation a strong uh, uh, um, country leading africa to the right way through its non-permanent seat in the Security Council. And I believe really, and I really trust that Egypt will defend mm -hmm. uh, African rights, Definitely. will defend mm -hmm. African positions, will defend African borders, um, and Africa now is being... And will help in conflict resolution. Absolutely, mm -hmm. especially that we have new players in Africa now. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not anymore the European influence, yeah. and that's it. Mm -hmm. It's now China, it's Russia, it's India, mm -hmm. uh, it's America. It's, we have new players in, in Africa, and I believe um, the security, the safety, and the development of Africa now has a huge influence on the security of the whole world, not just uh, the yeah, neighboring countries. They realize countries. actually you know, and, uh, that, and that's why yeah, yeah, we, we were discussing. Uh, mm. And I have to tell you also that um, the, the visit to India and the involvement of Egypt in this summit is just one, as, as President Sisi was saying during the opening of the Suez Canal, it's only one step of 1,000 steps. This summit is still one of those steps of 1,000 steps to come because the visits are endless you know right. in, in next mm -hmm. month is going to uk the man, it's uh, uh, after that is uh, and he just came back from africa and mm -hmm. from uh, uh, europe and so from russia from, from the, the gulf from yeah. the mm -hmm. from the un mm -hmm. from uh, you know it's, it's non-stop so the egypt the egypt influence in defending african uh, rights and in really playing a pivotal and integral part in the uh, po on the political arena international arena economic political cultural social is endless and mm -hmm. i believe it's going to to make a huge difference um, uh, as a non-permanent uh, member at the uh, uh, Security Council. Mm, definitely. Uh, Professor Mahana, uh, Dr. Muna mentioned more uh, in the world game and many hands on, like uh, India, China, and Russia. Uh, how will this uh, contribute in changing and making a new world order or imposing a new yeah. world order, if you can say? Um, I mm. think the, the world is changing. Uh, if we look at the, uh, the order that was made by Egypt for a two aircraft carrier. It mm. basically proves that we are moving in that direction, and, and as Dr. Zaki said, that uh, President Sisi has the vision to move along the way. Uh, I think the uh, uh, United States is falling culturally, and what we like about the East, the quite similar in, in cultural context and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. uh, surroundings, and uh, we like that kind of people because they not getting they don't get involved in other people's uh, mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. So we will see now the main players that we're in Africa, like Portugal, France. England mm -hmm. uh, uh, we've seen now uh, uh, I think uh, China is investing more than 11 billion dollars mm -hmm. so far uh, particularly in West Africa for the oil uh, mining India is is got a, an army of Indians in different countries so the they kind of uh, 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 spreading the the Eastern culture so Egypt is moving into that direction and we've seen a lot of indicators that can basically prove that uh, number one is the talks about the BRICS, uh, um, you know, Russia, China, mm -hmm. uh, that's an approach. The second approach is a a Asia Africa uh, uh, summit, the Indian African uh, talking about the new uh, uh, non permanent seat in the Security Council and it's actually supported by China. Uh, mm -hmm. We cannot forget that. Right. So we will see definitely, as Dr. Mani said, I do believe that Egypt will uh, basically the main, will be the main player in Africa to become the leader as it was in the 50s and 60s. And and we've seen now the changes in the new world order will basically 
here, uh, particularly in Africa and the Middle East. Definitely. Professor Mona, um, well, while we're talking, uh, you, you, you touched on a very important uh, message, you know. We're always in need of the soft power to reach the other. And talking about Bollywood, we can never forget here Amitabh Bachchan and the different films, you know, yeah. the Indian films yeah. here in Egypt are quite very appealing. Even the Indian Cultural Center, you know, yes. whenever there are performances, you find... Uh, Egyptians quite interested to, to attend. So how can we uh, further make use of this uh, this power, this soft power, in a sense of uh, partnership between both countries? That would be ideal. Uh, I mm. would really uh, take this opportunity and yeah. call for it because... What can uh, soft we power can... do? Uh, uh, you know, mere politics cannot. Oh, a lot. <laughs> A lot, mm. at least uh, understanding, mutual yeah. understanding and mm. tolerance among nations and people. You see, so uh, instead of carrying a weapon, yeah. you carry a violin, you right. see. Mm. And uh, the language of music, the language of, uh, uh, of movies, the language of literature, of poetry, of art, of, uh, mm. uh, of culture, it's... Uh, uh, what is it so, in the Indian Egypt culture? Is what is in it this? in the Indian culture that makes it quite so appealing for Egyptians? Oh, the movies, mm. uh, Bollywood, mm. the movies, the dance, the music, uh, and the what I love about the the industry there. It's huge. It is 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 a massive industry in India, and it's playing a huge um, role in its economy as well. You know. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, and mm. I really I really uh, join your voice and. Uh, ask for a partnership between uh, Egyptian movie industry and Indian movie industry. Mm -hmm. That would be ideal. E Egypt used it's, to it's be... Already on a plan, if yeah. you allow that me, it's already on a plan yes, on the yes, president's yeah. desk. And yeah. yes, uh, yes, the perfect. plan, the, pl the place for it will be in a central Sinai north ah. of Santa Catherine. That, that so, would be uh, quite, uh, it's quite, quite a central Even area. The, the location itself is strategic. Uh, yeah, mm. so it will mm. be north of Santa uh, and, and the plan basically is to news. become, and the name for it is Sinawood, but uh, Sinawood. Uh, Sinawood, yeah, yeah but that's still uh, oh, open news, to discussion. So. <laughs> we have on the debate, we have on the debate, <laughs> we have on the debate good news for definitely, tonight. Definitely yeah, yeah. on the plan to have, because to, to make Sinai particularly a strategic area from different angles, mm -hmm. uh, um, it's got uh, different, five different shields, yeah. the uh, diplomatic shield in terms of moving the capital in, the, in the, that direction, the president spoke yes. about that, the human shield, the, the, the the, the, the um, economic shield mm. and basically the trade shield, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in terms of trade uh, um, uh, routes. But mm -hmm. definitely on the arts and, uh, 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 you know, uh, exchange cultures, I think that's already uh, an area that, that will be looked at, definitely, mm -hmm. inshallah. Yeah, uh, in the eyeing this sense of a partnership uh, with Egypt, with Egypt a bridge between the two continents, uh, Africa and Asia, what are we expecting in the coming phase? What unconventional fields that we need to go and, and to venture more with India? Um, besides culture? Be you besides mean? culture, besides technology, uh, uh, well, we have more than one entrepreneurship. Uh, yeah. I would love to have more mm -hmm. Indian entrepreneurs yeah. coming and investing in Egypt yeah. and really investing not just money but also their, their, themselves, their time, mm -hmm. their effort, mm -hmm. their love for Egypt. Indians love Egypt. Their experience. Feel, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you know, their experience, their, themselves. You know, they, I would love to see Indian entrepreneurs starting business in Egypt with Egyptian entrepreneurs. You see, that that's a yeah. good partnership because mm -hmm. this, this will really unite the people together more and more because mm -hmm. when you unite over an interest, you unite over other things as well and mm -hmm. things come and success comes. So wh what we'd love to see is this kind of partnership mm -hmm. Uh, which reflects also on the culture it's, uh, because as Dr. Mahana was saying we have sim similar cultures you see mm -hmm. I went to India I felt very much at home I felt I'm walking in Egypt I felt I'm walking in the streets of uh, downtown or whatever but uh, uh, we we love the Indians mm -hmm. we feel at home with the Indians and the same when when Indians even the uh, the, um, the current Indian ambassador and his wife uh, ambassador um, um, uh, uh, of India here is doing a great job. He just arrived a few months ago. 
has been and we have on you the know go. you remember yeah. before uh, that uh, lovely festival india on the banks yeah, of the nile that was 90. also yeah. Yeah, yeah. quite successful yes. yeah. and then yeah. it has a very this is an annual message. festival they yeah. do it and yeah. even in the early 90s when i was in charge of the international uh, cultural programs yeah. at the american university yeah. you remember we had this indian cultural festival right. and the funny mm -hmm. part was th this festival included a, a film festival um, Costumes, a, a, a I can remember. fashion yeah. festival, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and um, food festival, right. and debates on Indian Egyptian economy and, uh, and the film uh, industry. And film industry, mm -hmm. and, and the funniest part at the opening of the fil film festival, the movie was in a language that the ambassador at that time was Ambassador Sibal. He didn't even understand the language of mm. the uh, uh, of the. Um, Program. used of mm. the movie and uh, the um, and the, uh, the the subtitles were in Arabic so the guests the foreign guests and mm. the guests could not understand and we had to translate from Arabic subtitle to English so can uh, everybody can can really understand which, which the is movie. an advantage in a, in a Absolutely. Bollywood movies that Absolutely. you actually Definitely. don't need a translation Absolutely. or subtitling yes. because it's quite clear and, and a story. We, uh, we, yes. You know, we feel the beat with them even with and the rhythm. Yes. Because yes. it's very emotional mm -hmm. and cultural and Egyptians miss that. And I think, as we were probably talking in a break, that the Indians have really succeeded in protecting their culture, yes. which is, we suffered quite a lot from them. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think they also survived the cultural erosion that the, the, the British colony was really taking around, destroying a lot of cultures. Mm -hmm. So definitely, we, as Dr. Muna said, we, we, we can learn a lot from them in, in, in exchange of information, even in education, uh, in intelligence, uh, in marketing, in, in production. I think they also have a great um, experience in reviving the old economy in, uh, uh, in, in elections. I mm -hmm. remember they and really offered... culture. Ab absolutely. Yes. And they offered Egypt to have an online election uh, voting uh, yeah. uh, system. So mm -hmm. we do, do, do have quite a lot that we can learn from them, particularly on the economic side, you know. Uh, reviving the economy mm. uh, once more. All right. Professor Mahana, uh, uh, if we talk about Egypt and India working together in, in the coming phase uh, in a sense of of partnership uh, as the president of India, as he welcomed President Sisi, said that uh, there is a history of both countries working together yeah. for the sake of peace and yeah. for the sake of development. Absolutely. Uh, how can we make uh, uh, use of this sense of partnership and that it would reflect uh, through also uh, seizing opportunities in India and, uh, and also Indian players who can uh, play well for our developmental projects Absolutely. Uh, and, 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 and for and new Egypt, yes. for building yes. new Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if we actually find that uh, since the, uh, the visit of uh, Pre uh, President Mubarak, the former president, in 1982, mm -hmm. from that the Joint Commission was established, and after that, 83 up to the 90s and 95, uh, uh, we actually had agreements on organized crimes, fighting terrorism, uh, basically the joint uh, agreement on uh, development and new projects. So I think they do have. Uh, all the interest to come uh, to Egypt and help us and, and, and operate in different areas. Uh, when it comes to the joint venture, I think we, we, we really suffered quite a lot from uh, uh, trade partnership that are not uh, uh, signed and uh, in a way that that reflects mature benefit. In other words, if you look at India, we, we export uh, 1.7 uh, worth of 1.7 billion dollars. We import uh, worth of 3.1, mm -hmm. so 3.4. So it's actually creating a, a trade deficit on Egypt. Yes. Uh, we've got about nine and a half billion dollars trade deficit with China. Mm -hmm. Eight billion dollars trade deficit with Russia and United States. So mm -hmm. our trade deficit is reaching eight, uh, five, 50 billion dollars. So I think to work together, uh, India needs to look at uh, a mature benefit uh, for Egypt because uh, trade partnership can actually damage the economy of Egypt. And we've seen 3,602 factories are actually closed mm -hmm. because of the invasion of the Chinese products. Yes. So the so, future yeah. now is mm -hmm. on the economic side and on the political side, I think we'll see a lot of involvement between Egypt and India in a new world order. Right. Uh, on a new world order, more, uh, Professor Mona, uh, concerning uh, the political cooperation and, and, and also uh, economic partnership. How about yeah. people to people? Yes. That is very important. We talked about culture and the soft power. Yeah. Uh, more uh, exchanges pro, uh, pro of programs on the entrepreneurial uh, uh, side. Uh, 
how can we make use of the uh, Indian expertise in, uh, in training? Um, I would love to see more Indian uh, um, vocational training regarding mm. broderies, you know, and jewelry making and all those, you know, Crafts, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know mm. reviving our skills, our traditional skills and artisanal. Mm -hmm. you see, this, this is really disappearing when you see the, a, a, a nice carved Indian um, box, it's beautiful and they mm. really kept it as we were discussing now mm -hmm. how they kept their traditional artifacts, their traditional culture, their traditional uh, uh, beauty. So I, I think that would be ideal if we talk people to people, if we can have more open doors between Egypt and India, we will learn a lot from each other. Mm -hmm. on mutual respect, mutual, um, you know, be beneficiary relationship and it's partnership. It's not just uh, you come and we just uh, uh, make use, but it's partnership together, especially that we have so much in common, especially emotions. Mm -hmm. We're very emotional people and Indians are very emotional people as well. So I believe if we can have this kind of open doors, yeah. Uh, we can learn from each other a lot, all these handcrafts, all those, you know, uh, and Indian women are very strong women and mm -hmm. they can really and do a lot, uh, yeah. absolutely, mm -hmm. they can do a lot mm -hmm. with Egyptian women who are also strong women. Yeah. More, more yeah. than one area of cooperation, the sky is the limit and yes. uh, a new sense of partnership uh, between Egypt and India and uh, a sense of partnership actually between Egypt and the world today, yes. uh, uh, diversifying our relations and, and, and opting for uh, quality relations with the world. Uh, I thank very much Professor Dr. Munazek, strategic consultant. Thank you so much Professor Mona for coming to the debate tonight. Thank you. And I thank very much Professor Dr. Ahmed Mahemna, uh, Professor of Political Economy. Thank Professor you. Mahemna, thank you so much for adding thank to the show. Thank you. thank you. Your insight was really valuable for tonight, my dear guests. Thank you very much, uh, dear viewers, for joining us. That was the daily debate for tonight. And I'm Tafelit Hussein, thanking you all for watching.